Hey guys, I'm Tyler. And I'm TJ from Hester Sport Fishing. And we're gonna to talk today about how to locate and fish for Columbia River walleye. To start off, you're gonna to wanna to find a good location. Um, this could be a current break, current seam. Um, the water might be a little warmer in this area. And then you're gonna to wanna to search for any kind of structure, any kind of drop off, any deep holes. And then you want to try to locate their food, whatever they're actively feeding on at that time. Yep, so we call it you know, the, the big three. And for any spot, you've got to have majority of the three, maybe two of the three, but yeah. pretty much you need all three. So again, you need current, you need water moving past the walleye. And again, this is just for the Columbia River. Uh, you're going to need structure, whether it's rock, breaks, yep. uh, drops, yeah, holds, shit piles, I mean, whatever you, can, yeah, whatever you can find. And of course, food that's going to keep the walleye there. So. When you're trying to find these spots, you, the best part to look, or what's the best place to look, is just look at a map. Look for underwater points, look for different kind of structure that you can kind of imagine in your head that, all right, if I was a walleye and I wanted to work the <laughs> least amount as possible and eat yeah. as much food as I possibly could, where would I sit? So remember, in the Columbia River, we have a whole lot of fish that swim up and down the river, salmon, steelhead, shad, some other migratory fish that in certain times of the year, these walleye can sit off of ambush points and just feed a Congo line of buffet food coming down the river. Yeah, just sit and wait, basically. Exactly. So if you can, you can find those big three, you can find the bait, whatnot, you can get within the get within the zone. Then to catch them, we have two major techniques we use here in the Columbia. We have our trolling setup and we have our jigging setup. Both really effective. Um, you just got to use them at the right times. Um, Usually trolling, you're trying to search for walleye, covering a lot of ground, a lot of area. If you catch two or three in a certain spot, you might want to shut the motor down and start jigging on them vertically or casting at them. Yep, 100%. And then the big thing with finding walleye, as it is with any other system, lake, river, wherever you're going to be at, you want to use your electronics to your advantage. You know, hit waypoint and mark where you've caught fish before, and after a while, you start seeing little mounds it's of waypoints. Yep. Exactly, you <laughs> see where those fish are truly laying, that way you can go back and, you know, again, take notes, take notes on the river flow, take notes on time of year where these fish were caught, and you can go back years after that and find these fish. One of the biggest things for me was actually taking notes every day I went out. Even the littlest things can help you the next year to go back on and say, hey, actually the water was at this, at this temperature, at this flow and this is what we did that day and sometimes it works. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna talk a little bit about, you know, a little more in depth about what we use and how we do it. So again, first we're gonna do our technique to find fish, which would be the bottom locker setup. It's like right here. But to start out, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself something similar to this 710 Okuma Deadeye Pro. Um, it's got enough backbone to troll heavier weights and it's got a light enough action at the tip to see the bites, which sometimes can be really soft. And then right now, we are set up to a three ounce bottom walker with about a 48 inch leader that's running to a 1.1 smiley blade, but smaller or bigger works. Um, a couple beads, it doesn't really particularly matter, the beads that I think, but just enough gap to where you're leaving about an inch, an inch and a half to the hook. And then for my hook, I run a Mustad slow death hook, and this gives a slow spin to the worm as you're trolling. And I've found that that can be really enticing to the walleye. Yeah, so with those uh, Mustad hooks, you're gonna be threading a worm on it. That way it leaves a little bit of a kink in the worm. That will actually give the worm a little bit of an action. And you wanna pinch the worm off, you know, about a half inch to a quarter yeah, inch worm, yeah. Yeah, down behind the Mustad. Now with those Mustad hooks, it's becoming really one of the best options out for summer walleye as well with just yeah. a hook just a hook maybe a maybe something in front of it most likely not but just a plain hook with uh and that spinning worm action is all you need really yeah. if remember here on the columbia river where we are we can't use live bait so uh night crawler is really the best we can get away with for bait fishing mm -hmm. then once you find the fish you know as we talked earlier you want to find the fish mark a couple waypoints get comfortable with kind of the zone that these fish are in then if you find structure or you find some fish that are in the area, then you can start jigging on them. So I have two jigging rods here. They're both Okuma Deadeye Customs. This is my six foot 10. It's a uh, six to 12 pound line rating. This is my vertical jig rod. 
as well as kind of my universal jigging rod as it is. I mean, I, I use this rod for everything. And then we have a seven foot four, I call it the trophy stick. Again, Okuma Deadeye Custom. Uh, this is my favorite rod for throwing those, you know, those glass minnows and zombie jigs as far as we can and ripping yeah. them back to you. A lot of backbone on this rod, but uh, at the very tip, you can see that it's very light, which is perfect for what you want for jigging these walleye. And then you get into more specifics. Specifics. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have a link below of our top five favorite walleye jigs. How to set them up. Yep, and what that. to do with it. Um, but again, vertical jigging, you know, you, less is more when you're moving it. Uh, depends on what jig you have. If you want to drop it on a slack line or drop it on a tight line. Blades, jigs, uh, lipless crankbaits, jigging wraps, they all work. But remember, you only want to jig once you know where some fish are and you've found and located some, or, or found and located some structure where you want to fish. Alrighty guys, well that's how to fish and find walleye in the Columbia River. Again, we will have some links down below on some better details of some jigs and some other different techniques. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you down on the water.